So on today's video, we are going to talk about my experience in the Airbnb business or managing Airbnb. And I frequently get questions from people either emails or on my channel asking me about Airbnb, how good is it? Because either they want to get into the Airbnb business or because they are already doing it in the state if they want to expand it over here to the Dominican Republic. So when they asked this question or made this comment, I wasn't sure how to answer because we didn't have any historical data that we can go to accurately give this information. So now that we have completed a year in April, for some properties we have a year, for some of the properties not, but now we have a historical that we can go for like, people usually have questions like, what, what is the best area, what cities work best, or what, what type of properties work the best. So it's not like a year is a lot of data to go for, but it's better than when we was at zero. So now we have some information that we can share with you all. Before we get to the number, I'm gonna talk to you about what property we think work the best. I take this information with a grain of salt because of different reasons. First, uh, this is just one year that we have been doing this business. And second, when we started this business, we were just coming out pretty much out of the pand pandemic, it was like, a year, I think a year after, people were still wearing masks or people were still hesitating to travel. So probably some of the reasons, probably the, the information is not that accurate. So now that we are over two years out of that pandemic and fe people feel more comfortable traveling, that data may change. So I don't want to give you inaccurate information. So take this information based on there is just one year that we have been doing this business and based on the circumstances. So the properties that have worked the best for us, and that is taking consideration that I work, work with different clients, it's just not one client, and they have different type of properties. So the properties that have worked the best for us are largest property, the one they have three or more bedrooms, especially those they have private pool, and private amenities. Those are the ones, especially because people come in group, sometimes in families, sometimes friends you are traveling, they wanna have their own, um, I would say recreation time, private, and those are the properties that, ha that are working the best for us at the moment. So the ones that happen from the list for us is the one bedrooms, especially here in the city. Those one bedroom, we have four, Three of them, we have to get rid of them because they were performing very, very bad. We have to get rid of them in, in the first four months. And then we have one more, and that one started off slow and then pick up, and now it, it, it's, not, it's not performing as expected. And the reason why the one bedroom are not performing well here in the city, I don't know the exact reason. It can be there is too much competition. It can be that sometimes even when people are traveling alone, you think that they will rent a one bedroom apartment. But even though when people are traveling alone, they ask for a two bedroom apartment. So it can be different reason. I don't know. We just have one year in this business. So I don't know the exact reason why they don't work in here in the city. However, we have one bedroom apartment in Puerto Plata and that one is performing very well. That one is performing better than the three bedroom apartment that we have in the, same, in the same building. So that one is in a tourist area. So that probably would say something about two, one bedroom apartment, depending on where you have it, we work better. So now let's talk about areas. And first I'm gonna start with two areas. The one that is touristic, but it's not popular which is Juan Dolio. And the other one, it is touristic, but for local, I would say, which is Vani. We, we have properties in both area. And what I think about Juan Dolio, Juan Dolio is not bad to have an Airbnb in there. We have, uh, with this, then we have two in Juan Dolio, then we have to get rid of two properties. And because they were in a good place, the property weren't in good and we were think having good comments, so we decided to get rid of them. That's the reason, but we used to get a lot of people trying or visiting that, that properties. Now we have we wa we have a villa in a Country Club Juan Dolio, and that one is performing very well. For the time that we ha have it, that is about, what, two months, it's, per it's performing very well. And Juan Dolio is touristic, but it's known very popular. It's nice, have a nice beach, the area is good, no too many tourists over there. It's not a nice area to visit. It's visited by local and also by, by foreigner. Bani, we have a property in Bani and that one is more tourist for local. 
And the problem with that kind of properties in areas that are not touristic is that you're just having local visiting and they're just gonna visit you, your property for one night or in a holiday two nights. And they're just gonna, you're gonna be renting like for every weekend. And then the weekdays, you're gonna have your property empty. You won't be making no money and that is no good. You want a property, the people can rent any day. Even at start of the week, if they're traveling, they rent your property because they come on vacation. In Bani, just most often are just for a weekend or holidays. Now, we have had some people, family, that they wanted for one week, two weeks. But those are people, they, those are travelers. They come, they are Dominicans, and they want to stay with the whole family in there. But then if you're just going to rent to locals, it's going to be just every weekend. Weekdays, you're going to have your property empty. So my recommendation is, don't do an investment on a property that is just in a city that is just visited by locals uh, because you will have a lot of that uh, time and you don't want to do that if that is just for investment now this is like i said before this is just in our one year now if we will do another year let's see what happened in the next year so now let's talk about the properties in areas that are performing uh well for us and one is, one is the one here in santo domingo and that one is a house they have four bedrooms they have a pool they have a pool table and all that so that one it performed well because people that travel in group either dominicans or foreigners that are traveling family go to that type of property if that one is have performed good for us so that's what i said in in the city if you find properties that are big and have pool and how you say no pool but entertainment um no 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 that is not the word that i want to use um amenities that you can use private with your family or your friends those property to me perform well and i know i talk about the property they didn't didn't perform well here in santo domingo i also talk about the one they did perform well and i'm trying to come up with some with some um projection to really really understand more about the airbnb yeah i'm trying to see to see fees about the area more than anything because i know it's a lot of people that travel to santo domingo so it's no shorter of people so it has to be a reason why certain uh, properties don't perform as well as others. And I'm trying to come up with, um, with a projection to understand better the Airbnb business. And I, I don't know, for some reason I started thinking that probably it is depending on the area because I have a lot of subscribers that usually ask me if you have a Airbnb in the Piantini area. They want to come and stay in that area. Also, a lot of the subscribers that we meet in person, when we ask where they stay, they usually say, most of the time, they say that they are staying in the Piantini area. Well, probably it's the location because they are near, or oh, I mean, just downtown, they're near the mall, they're near the Blue Mall, all those malls. They're near to the fun stuff. So probably that's the reason. Uh, but the, I don't know for sure. I'm just making uh, assumptions. So if you are looking to invest in the Airbnb business, just think about that area, Piantini area, because I see that's uh, where a lot of people ask for. And also don't forget about the Zona Colonial because it's a, a touristic area and also have their public. I think that is a good area also. And also we have the two in Punta Cana that those perform good. We don't have, we haven't had. Those are the two that we have from the beginning, <laughs> from the way we started, and those are performing very well. So now let's talk about something that I know that you usually, people that are interested in about Airbnb, that they usually ask, and is, what is the best season <laughs> for Airbnb in, I will say, Dominican Republic or in Santo Domingo? And about that question, Based on just one year data, I really can tell you it because I have seen slow months, I have seen high months. But what happened is that in those months, some property are have performed good and some other haven't performed very good. So I can tell you that that month is bad or good because I will have to say it depends on the city because we have properties in different cities. And in each month, I can tell you, for example, March, January, March, and April was very bad for this property here in Santo Domingo. 
but it was it was okay for the properties in Punta Cana and it was okay for the property in Juan Doyo. And then what other month I think it was it was very slow for some property. For the one in Puerto Plata, um, it was very slow in March. So it's gonna, I don't know, it depends on the area. I don't have a lot of information to say which one are the best month or the high season or the slow season here in the Dominican Republic. I think we have people that come to the country all year round and it depends where you have your property that you will have probably a bad, a bad, a bad time or a good time on rent in rental. So now let's talk about numbers because I know they know they, yeah, you hear me and then you say you just blah, 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 blah. Get to the get down and give us the number. We want to know the number. So let's start with the number. So in Santo Domingo, we have a total of six properties. Two, we had for a complete year. Three, we kept it for about four months and one, for about six months. And we have here in Santo Domingo, a total of revenue of around 60,000 US. Punta Cana, we have a total of two. We have kept these two properties for the entire year. And those two have given us a revenue of 40,000 US. So the one in Puerto Plata, we had two in Puerto Plata and those we had it for about eight months. And that was give us a revenue of 25,000 US. Now in one dollar, we had three properties. The two first property we kept it for five months. And the one that we have now, we have had that one for a little, a little over of two months. And we have made a total revenue of 9,000 US in one dollar. So the property money, we have had that one for about nine months. And that one have generated a close to 50,000 US. So the total, revenue or all the property combined it is if it's not 150 it's very close to 150,000 us so guys this is the information that we have for right now and remember this is just our one complete year um, experience managing this Airbnb so that is the data that we have right now to share with you guys and if any of you are in the Airbnb business you have any of the data they want to share with us we really appreciate it um, it doesn't matter if it's just area what uh, type of properties or anything like that, you can leave a message down below or you can email me. So this is all what I have right now. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. When they asked this question or made this comment, I wasn't sure how to answer because we didn't have any historical data how to So now I know that you are very interested because I know you ask this question a lot and is what are the better. So before we start with the numbers. So take this information based on there is just one year that we have been doing this business and also based on the um, and also based on the circumstances and also based on the circumstances and also and also based on the six and also based on the six oh my god you can't say circumstances circumstances no. did you say it okay Circle stance. Not circle. <laughs> you see, not even you. Okay. Well, how is it? It's circum. Circumstances. Yeah, exactly. Circum. Circumstances.